This is a face only a mother could love, y'all. <laughs> Today, it's hey, me and my boy Jamie here in the kitchen, and we're starting off a dish that you can be very creative with, a marinated vegetable salad. You're only limited by your imagination. Then I'm gonna knock Jamie's socks right off, y'all, with our pork chops with cheesy grits and bacon. This may be the best thing I've ever eaten on your show. Really? I'm not kidding. And finally, I got the cutest young friend coming by to help me finish up our extravagant Mississippi mud cake with me and my boy. Way to go, boy. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome to Best Dishes Today. I'm going to be in <laughs> the kitchen with my boy. Hey, Mama. <laughs> Hey, son, how are you? I sure would like a piece of Mississippi mud pie. <laughs> I can handle that for you. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> Never know what my boy's up to, I tell you. Well, today, y'all, he's going to be helping me make my Mississippi mud cake. And it is one fine cake. Y'all, wait, when... The batter looks like mud is how it got its name. Muddy water. Yep. I mean, it's real thin. So you're going to get our creaming of our sugar and our butter. I've got three cups of sugar, y'all, that I'm going to cream up with two sticks of butter, which equals out to one Melted cup. Melted butter, y'all. Melted butter, y'all. So I'm going to get that going. And you got three eggs and your vanilla flavoring. So while Jamie's creaming that, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to measure out our dry ingredients. I'm gonna need two and three quarters a cup of all-purpose flour. That's a fine start. <laughs> Sounds like a great cake to me. Two and three quarters. So there we go. Our two teaspoons of baking soda and I'm gonna put in a half a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm just gonna take my whisk and whisk those together. Okay, Mom, I've got our sugar and our buttercream, so I'm gonna add my okay, three eggs. Okay. You wanna help me with the cocoa, Mom? Yeah, I will. And you know what? That just sticking to that pot was about a tablespoon of butter and I'm not gonna let that butter escape me. Never have. <laughs> okay, Mom, I've got a teaspoon of vanilla going in. All right, one and a quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa, y'all. All right, I'm just gonna mix that in with my flour. Like I said, this is gonna be so, so thin because we've got our cup and a half of buttermilk and then we've got our water this going in. All right, now we're gonna alternate the flour and the buttermilk into Jamie's creamed butter and sugar. This is easy to remember. We're gonna start dry, end dry. There you go. There's your spatula so we can keep those edges down. See, that's already starting to look mighty fine. There's no way you can mess up if you start with three cups of sugar and two sticks of butter. That is a, uh, <laughs> that's a good start for sure. You know, uh, if you're like me and, and just had male children, that doesn't matter because the guys like to cook too. Don't think just because you got all sons that you can't get in the kitchen and have a good time with them because you can. Okay, I always like to them. eat is why I always <laughs> like to cook. Jack was so cute. Your Uncle Bubba had a birthday last month. Jack was sick, so he couldn't he couldn't come to Bubba's birthday dinner. But Jack made him a cake. He said, well, if I can't go to the party, I'm gonna make Uncle Bubba a birthday cake. All right, that's the last of the buttermilk, y'all. Yeah, we need to scrape those sides good. And while you're doing that, son, I'm gonna measure out a cup and a half of boiling water. Perfect. I wish y'all could smell this, how I know good it. it smells. I know. While you got that lid up, son, I'm just gonna take this and add the last of that flour, okay? Watch your blouse. <laughs> 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 
And if you'll put our speed on the lowest setting, son, because okay. I don't want to walk away with a brown and white polka dot shirt. <laughs> or scalding burns. Yes. Okay. You can turn it on that first. There you go. See how thin that battery is, y'all? Looks like mud. You know how I usually measure a cake out, son? Mm -hmm. But this is so thin. We're just gonna pour it. Yeah, we're just gonna pour and eyeball and... All right, son, that's it. Now, I'm gonna spray our pans, y'all. We're gonna do it in layers today. I love the way a layer cake looks. All right, there's one, son. Here's the second one coming up. Okie doke, just pour it in. There you go. I'm gonna go over to the other one. Okay, son. Yum, yum. Now we're gonna put this in the oven, y'all, 350 degrees for 45 minutes. But, you know, always start checking your cake about 10 minutes before your cooking time's up because ovens vary and you don't wanna burn this cake. All right, so I'll catch the door on the oven. Okay. It's gonna be delicious, y'all come back. Way to go, boy. <laughs> Thank you, mama. Thank you very much. Coming up next, we're making a marinated vegetable salad that's the perfect complement to any meal. Mm. It's a perfect summer salad that you can have year round. Mm -hmm. And then Jamie can't believe it, y'all. We got pork chops and cheesy grits coming up. Y'all might not believe everything you see on TV, but you can believe this. And later, don't forget about our mud cake. We're topping it off with something special, y'all. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. I'm here in the kitchen with my boy. I'm here with my mama. <laughs> and uh, we got our Mississippi mud cake in the oven. It's baking away, and it's going to be so delicious. And now we're doing our beautiful marinated vegetable salad. Jack eats a lot of these type of dishes, doesn't he? He loves vegetables. And I know, too, one Isn't of my favorite great? things, the broccoli uh, salad that you used to make when we were kids uh -huh. growing up. With a raisin. I, I, I love raw vegetables. We've got I know. cauliflower, zucchini, uh -huh. carrots. Uh -huh. I've got a not too spicy, but a little spicy jar of cherry peppers. And, and I tell you what, you can go to Philadelphia, son, some of my favorite places there. I always get me a Philly steak and cheese. Mm -hmm. And they serve these peppers on the side. And I've not known them to be hot. Full of flavor, but n not heat. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna handle the dressing while I'm gonna I've... handle the dressing. Okay. And I've got me a nice, fat clove of garlic here, y'all. And I'm gonna mince it up real, real good, real fine. I used to make these a lot, Jamie, catering for the bag lady. They would be so gorgeous. And I'd just put everything but the kitchen sink in them. I'd put pickled okra and olives yep. and just have all this grand color. I mean, anything you want. You're only limited by your imagination. Now, I'm making a very, very simple dressing for these. I'm gonna use about a half a cup of olive oil. About a half a cup. And I'm gonna need a quarter of a cup of white vinegar. And that's gonna bring my measurements up to three quarters of a cup. I'm going to add a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Now, this is something that y'all can do ahead of time for your parties, and it's a perfect complement for anything that yes. you might be barbecuing outside. This is yes. a great, great side dish. This needs to sit in the refrigerator and marinate at least for two hours, y'all. So, yes, this is one of those great salads you can make the day before or the morning of. Now I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of sugar, and I'm gonna add one tablespoon of Italian herbs and seasoning. And a little salt and pepper. I'm adding a half a teaspoon of each. Now I'm just gonna whisk this up, and then we're just gonna pour it over our vegetables and let all those flavors marry together. Mmm, 
that's very good, but I'm gonna add one more half a teaspoon of salt. All depends on your palate and what you like, because what one person likes, another may not. But around here, we all like what mama likes. Okay. <laughs> Mmm, this is good. That olive oil gives it kind of an an olivey taste. Yeah, now if Bobby Dean was here today, there would definitely be olives There'd in here. There'd definitely be olives in here. All right. If you want so, to get pour this on here, Mama, I'm gonna yeah. I'm just gonna give this a, a kind of a quick turn to coat everything, yeah. and we're gonna cover this. And you want to put this in the refrigerator for a couple hours before you serve it. And look, look how beautiful that salad is. It's gorgeous. Is. So I'm just going to drizzle this on, and you got you some plastic wrap right there, son. You can cover this up. All right, son, I'm going to get our pan to heat down here because we got four beautiful pork chops that we're going to sear off, mm. and we're going to serve those on top of grits. What? Yes, pork chops, boy, mm. pork chops. I do love pork chops. Yes, you do. <laughs> now, for our pork chops, I'm just going to season them just with salt and pepper. And we're gonna serve these pork chops, Jamie, on top of grits. As I go up north and travel, I'm seeing grits more and more on menus. You see grit cakes, even, you can... Even outside of the south. So I'm gonna take a little olive oil, and then I'm just gonna add two tablespoons of butter. All right. I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator, Mom. Okay, you can just stick it right there in that drawer, son. And what can I do to help you? Not a thing, but just stay with me. Hang with your mama. I like the thickness of these pork chops, son. They're not real thick, but they're kind of thick. I like them about that size in the pan, but if I'm going out to the grill, I like I like big size oh, chops. Oh, me too. I'm me too. I like an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half. Got them going? I got them going, sonny boy. Now when we come back, y'all, we're gonna get started on our grits. And this ain't your everyday grit. This is a cheese and bacon grit. Yes. And that's where those pork chops are gonna live. Yes. <laughs> so y'all come back, thanks. <laughs> Up next, we're finishing our grits and getting this meal ready for a taste. I've almost swallowed my tongue, y'all. And later, a special friend stops by to help us finish up our cake. It's a big piece of cake. <laughs> uh, as big as your head. I hope y'all are enjoying the show. And I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Welcome back, y'all. Now, we got our pork chops going. And I'm just going to flip these over. And one of my favorite yes. things in the world are grits. And Mama, we're using a Look great recipe. Look at these recipe. pork chops. They're perfect. Now, we're going to boil our grits in straight milk this Yum. morning. And our milk is scalded. It's not boiling yet, but that's all right. We can go ahead and put our grits. We have five cups of milk. Uh-huh. And we're going to put in one cup of five-minute grits. Okay. Now, my recommendation to y'all is, just because the package says five minutes, don't mean they're going to be ready in five no. minutes. Even five minutes needs 30 minutes when you're cooking yeah. grits. And I keep um, some heavy cream around, so uh -huh. once it tightens up, if always... If it needs some more liquid. Yep. And it always does. So this milk is going to make them very, very creamy. Mm -hmm. And son, did you salt the milk? I did. Okay, because if you don't salt your grits... You will never get them salty enough. You will never get them salty enough. You need that whole thing of salt right there to just get these salty enough. All right, now, son, you fried off some bacon because we're double porking it <laughs> with this dish. Now, a must-have ingredient that goes in our pot is butter. Surprise! Into my pot, and that just helps keep a grip on those grits. And so I'm going to go back down here now because we're going to put some cheese in our grits, and I'm going to use a cheddar cheese and, you know, we're not going to put a whole bunch, quarter of a cup, third of a cup. But I tell you what, if you like cheesy grits, then put you a cup in there. Mm-hmm. Doesn't that look good? Well, I've way got a quarter of a cup. So I'll come down here and I'll chop up our bacon. And I'm just going to give our bacon a rough chop. I think the recipe calls for four slices, so we're having eight. It's 
Yes. Because <laughs> why have less when you can have more? <laughs> now, Mama, right. these grits are just about ready for our stuff. I'm going to go back down here and add the cheese, Jamie. Yep. And I'm going to add our bacon. Okay. Yes. Wow, cabal. This is fabulous, son. That is going to be awesome. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. I'm telling you what, son. That is one fine pot of grits. Is that mine, son? It can be. Okay, that's a plenty. All right, now I'm going to top that with another pat of butter. And I'm going to come in here and just nestle my pork chop. And y'all, I've got um, kale out in my garden. And I just stuck some of this in the oven and just baked it off. And I'm gonna use that as our garnish. Look at that. A little piece of kale. Great day in the morning. Y'all see that? I'm fixing to eat it. <laughs> Come this on down awesome, here, Mom. son. I've, I've almost swallowed my tongue, y'all. This is so gorgeous. Yes. Mm. You know, at this point, are you really worried about salad? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really not. I'm going to taste it first before I get okay, distracted. Okay, well, you just go ahead. And as these grits cool down, they get thicker and thicker. So we have wound up almost in the middle mm. of what is a fork and a spoon grit. This is really awesome, Mom. Mm. This is so stinking good. Okay, enough of vegetables. <laughs> you know, and this makes a fabulous breakfast, brunch, or dinner, doesn't it, Jamie? Are you having a moment, son? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb y'all. This may be the best thing I've ever eaten on your show. Really? I'm not kidding. I guess it's all what you love, and mm. y'all know I love pork chops, and I do so love grits. Y'all might not believe everything you see on TV, but you can believe this. This pork chop and these grits, the best thing I've put in my mouth in a long time. Well, son, I'm so glad you love it. Damn, mama. <laughs> I know, boy. <laughs> and it's only getting better, y'all. When we come back, we're gonna finish our Mississippi mud cake. Mm -hmm. Coming up next, my new friend Dagny is helping us taste test one of the most decadent desserts this show has ever seen, y'all. Three thumbs up. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Hey y'all, welcome back. Jamie and I are in here in the kitchen with a precious friend of ours uh, from New York. Mm -hmm. Her name is Dagny, and I love that name. Where did you get that name, Precious? My grandma is uh -huh. Norwegian, and I was named after her. Okay, so it's a Norwegian name. Mm -hmm. Well, she has agreed to come in and help Jamie uh, with the frosting of this cake, we've got our Mississippi mud cake out of the oven. It's cooled. I want to tell y'all something interesting about Dagny. She's nine years old, and she's standing on a wooden block back here, y'all. So she appears taller <laughs> than she is, but she's a horsewoman. Mm -hmm. My pony is named Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Oh, I like jumper. that. So you, you jump, and you want to one day go to the Olympics mm -hmm. in the equestrian mm -hmm. event, right? Mm -hmm. Which I think that's wonderful, Dagny. Can I frost it? Sure you can. This is just the filling right now, Dagny. And Jamie is actually gonna make the frosting that we're gonna frost this with. Right after we put our second cake layer on top. It's an awesome icing, y'all. I've got six cups of powdered sugar, a cup of butter, two sticks that I've melted. Dagny's gonna add 10 ounces of unsweetened chocolate for us. And I'm going to cream this up a little bit. We're going to do one teaspoon of vanilla. Yeah. Good job. And then I'm going to blend in eight ounces of cream cheese. So this is a classic Dean family icing that we're doing. Do tell Empty Paula, Dagny, what you cook. I usually cook apple pie, mm -hmm. chocolate chip cookies, and crepes. Wow. I, like, I, like I love all of those things. I right. do too. Okay. Jamie has got our icing made perfectly. 
Dagny, and you can help me. I put a little icing up there on top of the cake, and we're just gonna bring it down, and we're gonna frost the sides of our cake. So I'm gonna come back in with a little bit more icing and cover that white, and we're done. All right, Dagny, now we're just gonna slip out our wax paper just like that. And look, isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. And then we can top it with some mini marshmallows. That looks yummy. And we've got some chopped pecans too. And finally, we're topping it off with some chocolate syrup, y'all. I think we got a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good job. I'll cut. Look, look, look. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that looks so How like is that for a piece of cake? <laughs> is that as big as your head? Yeah, it's like as tall as my head. <laughs> it's a big piece of cake. That's the way we like our cakes, Dagny. All right, you ready? <laughs> Yum! Yum! Three thumbs up. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.